Hey, hey, gearheads, it's Jeff with Gear Report. We're here at the Iraq Veteran 8888 Range Day 2021 Part 2. If you remember Part 1 a few months ago, Jordan Stein and I got together up on the hill to talk about gun owners of America and all the cool things they do to protect our Second Amendment rights. That went so well that he called in the big gun, <laughs> Eric Pratt. He's going to give us uh, you know, in case you missed the last one, maybe, maybe you can give us a little bit of overview what the organization does sure. and then talk about, uh, I'm going to call it a victory, um, that, that you guys are working on for us right now. Absolutely. Well, Gun Owners of America, I mean, obviously our mission is to protect, uh, defend the Second Amendment. And, our, you know, we, we do it in the courts. We do it uh, at the state and local level. We do it at the federal level. I think our, our secret ingredient, our, our real strength is in our grassroots, and right. we specialize in mobilizing them, putting heat on legislators, holding them accountable. And uh, that is how we've defeated a lot of gun control and how we've gotten a lot of good bills passed. Right. I get two, 300 emails a day, it seems like, every day, weekends, weekdays. Uh, I always read yours. And, and I'll tell you, there's some other organizations. I'm not going to put you on the spot and ask you to talk about it because I know you all want to be the, the step away from that. But, but there's another organization that are not really activists. I'm going to tell you, I don't read most of their emails because I don't trust them. I don't trust they're actually doing what they're supposed to. I'm not even going to ask you to comment on any of this because I don't want to drag you down. But I will tell you, I read yours. Thank I you. read them and, and I take action when you ask me to take action because I love the no compromise approach yes. that you take. That gets results and, and I'd love to talk about the result that you're working on right now because there's something really timely that, that we can talk yes. about that you're doing. Yeah, uh, we're in the process of a, a, a victory in the making. Um, our guy on the Hill, our lobbyist on the Hill discovered that as part of the National Defense Authorization Act, you know, and they typically cram, you know, pork and stuff in, in these bills. And, you know, quite honestly, you know, we're a gun organization. We stay focused on, on guns. But he discovered there was a red flag provision right. in there for military members. And so we sounded the alarm right away, got out an alert. And I tell you, I mean, our members and our activists just went gangbusters on this. Right. It was fantastic because they were calling their representative they were in fact we heard reports of many representatives like on different shows yeah. talking about yeah. some other kind of issue and people were calling in saying yeah but what about your vote for red flags on right. the NDA right. bill right. and they were you know all now on the defensive and so the end result of this I mean because th this was happening simultaneously in many districts right. around the country where you know, 135 Republicans had, had voted for the bill. So they've now pulled together uh, there on the Hill and they've produced a letter which is demanding of the House Senate conferees that when you get this bill, this provision has to go out, uh, come out, or it's dead on arrival. And that's a significant message. And just to, you know, I don't want to get too technical there, but, you know, after each chamber, Senate House passes a bill. It'll go to a conference committee where they iron out the differences, they take right. out stuff, uh, things like that. So you have now 163 representatives that are demanding that that red flag gun confiscation provision come out. That's very significant. That's why right. we call it right. a, a mini victory in the making. Can't count your chickens before they're hatched, but right. this is a very good sign. Right, right. And, and it's interesting that that would even be needed when you know I saw a note from Dan Crenshaw saying, oh, it was never in to begin with. We knew that was out before we even voted on it. Sounds like that may, may, may not have been completely true. And I, I love that you're holding their feet to the fire. So it doesn't matter what they say, you know, there's some actions we're looking for to be sure that we're protected. So, so I appreciate what, what you're doing there and, and for everything else as well. So let's say someone watching here says, you know what, I, I kind of like what you're doing too. I'd like to be a part of that. What paths do they have to help participate in this fight? The best thing that people can do, go to our website at gunowners.org. And if you're not getting our email alerts, please sign up for them. They're free to get on the list. And that, that I mean, that's how all this happened. Yeah. You know, all yep. the excuses yep. and things you, I mean, they were just gonna pass that on through 
and who knows what was going to ever happen in a conference committee, but the fact that they got put on notice that so many people were upset yeah. about this strategy, uh, that all started with our email alert. Yes. And uh, so, you know, follow us on social media, you know, that's great too. But the email alert is crucial. And, you know, you yeah. mentioned yeah. you get two to 300 emails uh, a day or a week right, or whatever. Right. Those certainly aren't all from us. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Yeah. You, Across the board, what yes. I'm saying is I filter, I can't answer every email right. that I get every day. I filter through, and a lot of them go straight to the trash, don't get read, sorry. But I read the ones from Gun Owners of America. Yeah, I would consider yeah. us very low volume that we mm -hmm. send out things when there's action that needs to be taken. So yeah. please sign yeah. up for our uh, email list. And you know, and then if you, if you like what you're seeing, I mean, there's membership, uh, $25 a year is the, the minimum. Uh, membership we've got uh, all the way up to life membership too we have Patriot right. membership which right. is uh, monthly givers so that certainly helps us stay in Washington doing you know fighting the fight and mobilizing the grassroots so, so if, if someone watching so you know what that membership sounds good how do they go about doing that what's the path for yeah them? easiest way again just go to the website at gunowners.org uh -huh. and uh, it's all right there on the front page yeah oh that the hair just stood up on my arm I, I see it. It is. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Um, I, I, I have been inspired. I don't have good web signal here. Can I just give you money and sign up and become a member? Yes, you can do it the old-fashioned okay. way, too. Good. All right. All right. Well, let's start with this, the well, basic membership. You. We'll see yep. where it goes. Um, TJ, you going to put some money down? TJ's already a member. I knew it. Good man. I never doubted him. I should have been a member already. But I'm taking care of that now. There we go. We're going to make that happen. Thank you, Let Jeff. us know anything we can do to help you. Absolutely. Uh, if you're watching, please help any way you can. I'm sure that uh, membership or, or reacting when, when there are calls to take action, that's something I notice. That's why I check your emails. A lot of emails that I get from other places are purely informational. Mm -hmm. Almost, I, I don't know what the percentage is, a very high percentage have some action. Yes. And I know that it's not like, you know, something that's not going to help, it's important. Right. So that's why I read them. That's why I take the action. Please do that if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get together at some point in the future and talk about how we can help them. But until then, thanks for being here. Thanks for the interview. And we'll see you at the range. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much. And we'll see you at the range. Mm -hmm.